That would be all. 323. Fabulous. Thank you. You're not getting anything? I, you just came here for me? I was so That's hungry. That's so sweet. <laughs> no, it'd been sweet if I was paying for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm just taking you to your demise. That's true. I hope your donut's heated. <laughs> Here's your donut. Toasted. <laughs> <laughs> it's this chocolate all over. It's snowing in the car. You like that? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All damn off season. <laughs>
So there are currently are 15 teams that are under the cap. The Bills have some familiarity with some of them. I believe five. Two of the teams are New England and Miami, which ax those. Don't do divisions. Charles Clay told us about that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do deals inside the division. Do not do that. So it drops it down to 13. So did Drew Blood. So. Is that why those are indented into your steering wheel? That's why I look like Knight Rider. At this point. <laughs> so yeah. That being said, that's the thing that I have observed over the last last two or three years or the last like three or four years and you know covering the draft and listening to this guy um that being said the chargers as paula said fall into that category now how many players do they have currently under contract 44 they have 44 <laughs> and what's their cap number 25 25 so 25 six so they're they're close to the 30 they're close to the 50 and the reason i think the chargers are a good candidate to move up is because I think the Chargers will give up future draft pick considerations to move up now. Because you, you think a, you they're going to move up? Yeah, you, I mean, you got to replace Philip Rivers. Completely contradicted what I. What well, I, was I think about. no. That's why I think that <laughs> no. I like your rule, but I, what I'm saying is there's sometimes teams that aren't going to fit that mold, and I think the Chargers are one of them. Mm -hmm. Right. So yes, do they need a lot of players? Yes. Do they do? Do they have a ton of cap space? No, they don't. Um, and I think that's why they want to invest one more asset because they can't acquire anything in free agency. They need to get one more big asset and they're willing to give up future years in order to do it because the Chargers are relatively close. Now you look at their team, yeah. they're close. Mm -hmm. So they need one more big asset to put them over. They're not gonna be able to get it in free agency. So if I'm the Chargers, I'm looking saying, I'm gonna give up next year's first to move up, but I, I either need another quarterback here sooner or later or I need another weapon. I need a defensive weapon, like stat. Or I need I need the best tackle on the board. I need him now. You know, I so the Chargers are in a perfect position to say, I can get one more asset. I've got one bullet in the gun. Let's drop next year's first to get up from what, twenty five? I think there's twenty where are they drafted? No, they're I not twenty five. Um, there's in the twenties. Twenty six. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have them at twenty oh that's rookie pool. Rookie pool has them at twenty eight, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, so, but they're in the, they're in the low twenties. They're they're going to have to give up a first next year in order to move up, and they just don't have the money in order to do it, to to do anything in free agency. So that's why your rule. I really really like your rule, and I think there's a lot of things that could apply to the thirty fifty rule. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I really think they're onto something there. Except when a team oh, has there's always a quarterback. cases. There's yeah, when cases a, when a team has a quarterback that's close to forty that needs to get some assets in for them, their next year's first yeah. doesn't do them any good. Yeah, there's certain personnel decisions that will usurp what goes on. Right. You know what I mean? I understand that at all. I mean there could be teams that are uh, that are thirty million. Mm -hmm. um, that, uh, there are teams that could be twenty eight million. Yeah. And they have forty nine players but they have twelve picks mm -hmm. at the draft. You right. know what I mean? And they're fine and they end up finding cheap free agency. You yeah. Know, free agents that they pick up. So like um, let me just bring up an example. So the Panthers, right? Okay. So the Panthers have nineteen mil in cap space, fifty six players on the roster. Bills already have a relationship with them, right? Mm -hmm. So if the Bills wanted to trade back into the first it'd be, round. It'd be Oh, back in, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, so if the Panthers wanted to trade back, the Bills wanted to trade back into the first round like they did this it's year definitely with. definitely possible. It's definitely, yeah. It's, yeah. it's there. That's, a, that's why I tried to look for teams that have that, mm -hmm. um, that have a lower pick mm -hmm. than the Bills. Yeah. And I believe, is Tampa the only one or the Giants? The Giants are the only team to fall underneath that line. Yeah. And they happen to be trading before the bills, but we already discussed that, that right. it wouldn't be that much money anyway. Right. My <laughs>